Hello, forever friends and family. I would like to welcome all of you to webinar, how to build your network marketing business in 15 minutes. It's right up front of your screen, 15 minutes a day. The book written by MLM legend, Tom Beagle Schreiter and Keith, his son Schreiter. The more I read this book, the more I enjoy, the more useful for every occasion we interact with some prospect or even with our downline member. So I don't want to wait to waste any second from any of you. And we are going to start to read this webinar. And I would like to ask my friend and partner, Isaac Gilbinovich, to read this wonderful book. Isaac, please unmute your microphone. You can see my screen, right? With the cover of the book. Yes, yes, I can. Okay, let's go. Please go ahead. Prospects and close in seconds. A few ch uh, chapters ago, we started talking about prospecting. We recognized our 15 minutes a day time restraint. What does this mean to us? It means number one, we want to know if the people we talk to are interested or not. Number two, we want to talk to people who are ready to take action. Here is another way to check for interest and get action. Tiny questions. If you are not already familiar with the tiny question technique, here is how it works. The only reason for business to exist is to solve people's problems. If people didn't need to travel, owning an, air, an airline would be silly. If we lived in the tropics, selling overcoats would be stupid. There is no reason for business to exist unless it can solve people's problems. With this in mind, our first step is to check if people have a problem. This should be a small, non-invasive question. This helps us verify that our prospects have a problem that we can solve. Here are some examples of tiny questions. Do you find that things are expensive now? Do you hate commuting? Do you find that jobs interfere with our week? Don't want to work 45 years like your parents? Need more time off for the family? These are easy opening questions that shouldn't uh, scare prospects. But what about our products and services? We can also create tiny questions about our products and services. Here are some examples. Do you like taking good care of your skin? Do you find uh, dieting hard? Do you like to travel? Do you get elect an electricity bill? <clears throat> Ever feel tired in the afternoon? Do you find makeup routine to be a hassle? Hate paying that expensive cell phone bill? Again, these questions are safe in most environments. Now we know our prospects have an interest. Then what? Our second question will close our prospects. We want to know right away if our prospects want to fix their problem now. To get this commitment, we want to phrase our second question in the most positive light. So we will start our, question, our second question with the proven word sequence. Would it be okay if? Here are some examples of using these words in a closing question. We will use the previous examples and show the two questions together. Do you find things are expensive now? Would it be okay if you had an extra paycheck to help? Do you hate commuting? Would it be okay if you could work out of your home instead? Do you find the jobs interfere with our week? Would it be okay if you had your own business so you could set your own hours? Don't want to work 45 years like your parents? Would it be okay if you tried a different career path. Need more time off for the family. 
Would it be okay if you had a part-time business so that you didn't have to go to that job? And for products and services, do you like taking good care of your skin? Would it be okay if you tried our new regimen for five days? Do you find dieting hard? Would it be okay if you could lose weight one time and keep it off forever? Do you like to travel? Would it be okay if you could uh, take luxury holidays for the price of a hotel room? Do you get an, an electricity bill? Would it be okay if the bill was lower? Ever feel tired in the afternoon? Would it be okay if you had energy all day long? Do you find makeup routine to be a hassle? Would it be okay if you tried an hour, uh, hour four minute system instead? Hate paying that expensive cell phone bill? Would it be okay if your cell phone was free? Each pair of questions took less than 10 seconds. We found out if our prospects had a problem, then we found out if they wanted to take action and fix their problem now, quick, easy. And we could do this several times a day because this only takes a few seconds. We could fit this into the small gaps of time that we all have every day. Can we improve this? Yes. Instead of just talking about solving their problem, we can help them take action now. All we have to do is, after our first two sentences, suggest a next step. Isaac, hold what on for a second, please. I'm sorry for interruption, because I want to a little bit back up to discuss this uh, sentence, would it be okay if? I would like to ask everybody, for how many years we know this would it be okay if five words sentence please anybody jump in and say how many years you remember this sentence anybody at least 10 years 10 years okay who is next more than five for sure and use a lot okay anybody else Come on, people, speak up, please. Because it's really valuable. I don't want to force everybody. For example, I know that Zoe has a problem with her microphone today, so she she's on a mute mode. But anybody else, okay, even without that, what the reaction of people when we ask this question? Pandemic. Iris, it's a lot of noise from you. I've been hearing it before pandemic from you were sharing. I'm sorry, say it again. Like more than three years. More than three years. Believe me, much more. But what happened to our prospect when we asked this question? Would it be okay if? What happened to the prospect? Anybody could describe what's going on? They open up and they don't mind to, they say yes, they nod. Without even get the question, right? That's the whole point. The whole psychological point of this unique five word sentences, the person we are asking a question, they start to shake the hand, not in a Bulgarian style, in a common style, up and down. They agree even before we ask a question. If we ask this question very slowly, would it be okay if, so I highly recommend you to use this five word sentence as many times as possible. That was my point. That's why I would like to stop and we, I would like to have a, at least short conversation because it's absolutely, absolutely priceless. Go ahead, Isaac, please. <clears throat> What could the next step be? Opening an account, enrolling in automatic ordering, setting an appointment to go to the weekly meeting, calling our sponsor, asking for a couple, uh, asking for, for a complete presentation. The next step is action. This is moving our business forward now. 
Here are some examples. Do you find things are expensive now? Would it be okay if you had an extra paycheck to help? Tonight after work, I will come by and tell you the whole story. Two paychecks are much better than one. Do you hate commuting? Would it be okay if you could work out of your home instead? I will call my sponsor now and schedule a time when he can have a cup of coffee with us and he'll show you his escape plan. Do we find the job interacts with our, interferes with our week? Would it be okay if you had your own business so you could see your own hours, so you can set your own hours? Come with me to a business training tonight so we can get your started in your own business where you set the hours. Don't want to work 45 years like your parents? Would it be okay if you tried a different career path? Come with me to our meeting tonight and see how many other people feel the same way. Need more time off for the family? Would it be okay if you had a part-time business so that you didn't have to, to go to that job? You can work the same part-time business that I have. I will help you make sure it works for you. Add for products and service and for products and services. Do you like taking good care of your skin? Would it be okay if you tried our new regimen for five days? I will get, I will give you, I will give it to you now if you promise to use it and tell me your result in five days. Do you find uh, dieting hard? Would it be okay if you could lose weight one time and keep it off forever? Grab your computer. We will get you healthy shake break breakfast automatically delivered to you, to you every month. Do you like traveling? Would it be okay if you could take luxury holidays for the price of a hotel room? Let's get online and get you registered as a smart traveler now. Do you get an electricity bill? Would it be okay if the bill was lower? Let's get you online now and make sure you get a less expensive rate. Ever feel tired in the afternoon? Would it be okay if you had energy all day long? Let's order you a case of this natural energy booster so you feel awesome all month long. Isaac, hold on for a second. Please take a break. Thank you for your reading. And I would like to ask friend and partner manager from Brooklyn, Helen Osipov, to continue. Please, Helen, go ahead. Isaac, thank you again. Good evening. Do you find a makeup routines to be a hustle? Would it be okay if you tried our four-minute system instead? I will show you how to use it online when you get home tonight. Hate paying that expensive cell phone bill? Would it be okay if your cell phone was free? Let's take a break from work now and I will show how it works. But I don't have to give a long sales pitch first? No. Prospects don't need facts and information to know if they want something. The facts and information come after they decide they want what we have to offer. Here is our chance to be polite. Let's find out if they want what we have to offer and if they want to take action on it. If they do, then we can chat about facts and information. But to chat about facts and information first is backwards. Our prospects will be wondering why I am, I am uh, wasting time listening to this, I'm not even sure if it is something I'm interested in or want. That is why we want our prospects to make a yes decision before the facts and information. Remember, most of our prospects are pre-sold. They want the benefits or what we have to offer. For them, their only question is timing. The second question checks is timing is right or not. 
timing? Yes, timing. We don't want to be pushy or to put our agenda first. Think of timing this way. Three or four times a day, we're hungry. The other times, no, we're not hungry, but bad timing. It only takes seconds to check if the timing is right or not for our prospects. Where's the, we ask them, would it be okay if, and listen for the answer. That's a key to our, sorry for jumping right there without warning, Helen. That's a key. Would it be okay if, and listen for the answer. Listen for the answer. It's a two-way street. Please go ahead. A fun way to bond with new prospects. Most people take coffee break twice a day, but who made the rule that we must have our coffee break exclusively with our coworkers and friends? Instead, let's think outside of the box. Our good friend, Amantha Maynard, created an idea called Tivolution. What is Tivolution? It is virtual coffee break. We get a chance to video chat with someone during our coffee break. This opens up many possibilities. Meet someone on social media. We can deepen the relationship by inviting them to a virtual, virtual coffee break with us. For the next 15 minutes, we can chat and build a better relationship. This opens up a world of new potential friends prospects, and eventually team members. For example, imagine that we are in the skincare business. We can find potential virtual coffee break partners on social media in groups that discuss skincare. If we represent travel services, we will find groups of travel enthusiasts. Even better, we can find prospects who are entrepreneurs or want to be entrepreneurs. It is fun to have a virtual coffee break with people who have similar interests. If Hold we are for a second, Helen, mm -hmm. please, please forgive me. I just would like to ask, what do we have to do? What kind of expert experts should be Helen, me, or anybody else to have a coffee break with our prospect? What kind of tools do we need as of now, as of today? Anybody? Do you have to be expert with Zoom? I think everybody has Zoom. Everybody has what? I'm sorry. Okay. We have Iris, Zoom. <laughs> Iris, it's a lot of noise from your microphone for some reason. Never happened before. Can you hear me? I cannot hear you. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. It's like a wind. Like a wind, like somebody may use the hammer around you. <laughs> okay, my point is, what else, Helen? Everybody has a phone. Okay, With how camera. can you use the phone? We we could, on the phone, we, we could have a, like a, we have WhatsApp video, we have FaceTime video. Okay. We have, uh, what we else? have lots of what's options. up? It's, it's not easy to create a group on WhatsApp. It's possible, but not everybody knows. How about Skype? Skype is good. It's not good. It's very, very good. And one more thing, you could share the screen with these people mm -hmm. to show them something during this meeting on the coffee break. You don't have to schedule an appointment two weeks ahead of time. Just briefly set up an appointment, prepare something. Let's say you, Helen, me, and somebody else join us and you have a prospect or somebody else has a prospect. We will prepare some materials to show them five awards forever recently received about skin products, show them products, show them the price and exchange the opinion. So ask a question, would it be okay if I will share some valuable information with you and your friend? Let's get on Skype. You don't have to pay. You could use the Skype on the phone. You could use the Skype on the computer. I would not suggest to use the Skype on the phone because it's pretty complicated to show screen 
on the phone. But on the computer or laptop, it's much, much easier and result is very, very good. Okay, please go ahead. Uh, if we like most people, we enjoyed relaxing over coffee or tea. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Now we have a, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, now we have a chance to meet two, two new people daily at a deeper level. Because of the relaxed atmosphere, it is much easier to build a friendship. This is one of many ways that we can squeeze more business time into our day. Here is the short story. Long detailed presentation, not for us. We don't have time. Before we invest time in detailed <clears throat> presentations, we want to make sure our prospects are eager to join. A simple way to do this is to give our prospects a summary before we start our regular presentation. How do we do that? We say to our prospects, here is the short story. Then we insert three or four of our best benefits. Now we watch our prospects' reactions. For some prospects, this will be all the presentation they need. For other prospects, they will start asking endless questions. In this case, we can schedule our question and answer session later when we have more time. Want some examples of inserting our message into a short story? Here is the short story. Every month we get an electric bill. Now it can be smaller. Then we will have more money for movies and fun. Here is the short story. We can work a part-time job for the rest of our lives. Or we can start a part-time business that can grow into a full-time income then we don't have to show up for work anymore. H here is the short story. The desert air in our city can make our skin look like a prune. Our new moisturizer keeps moisture in our skin, so it will look younger and healthier. Now we can keep wrinkles away an extra 15 years. Here is the short story. We waste two hours every day commuting back and forth to work. This costs us a lot of time. Our opportunity allows us to work out of our home. Now we can have more us time and be happier. Here is the short story. You are careful about your health. You are already taking vitamins. These vitamins are even better. Here is the short story. All of our dieting, starving, eating funny foods and exercising has got your body to where it is today. Invest, invest in our products so that you can lose weight one time and keep it off forever. Why does this work so well? People love to buy. They hate to be sold. Think about how people buy. Because they love buying so much, they buy stuff until they are broke. Then they get credit cards so, so they can buy even more stuff. Buying is fun. What do people hate? A salesman talking at them with a sales presentation. They want to get away. Want to see an example of a salesman talking at us? We go to a large department store to buy a big screen television. The salesman says to us, Shut up, sit down. Let me tell you how wonderful our televisions are for the next 45 minutes. We won some awards. Our company founder was a genius at age three. Some famous people gave us testimonials. I have some videos for you to watch also. Hold your questions until the end as I might cover them in my presentation. Is that how we like to buy? No. We hate this. Here is how we like to buy. We go to, to that large department store to buy our big screen television. All we want to know 
is how much the television costs and if we can take it home with us today. We want the short story first. Then, if we feel a need, we can ask for more details. Is this how we like to buy? Why not offer the same experience to our prospects? Why we should have a great short story? This makes a better buying experience for our prospects. And this technique is the antidote for negative prospects. Imagine our neg negative prospect says, I think this is a pyramid. I don't like you and I don't believe you. These things never work. Do we feel the negativity? Our prospect often think, think, I don't want to hear one of these long sales presentations. Let me think of any excuse possible to stop the conversation now. I don't care how good the benefit might be. I hate losing time to a long sales presentation. Yes. Most objections are requests by our prospects to avoid long sales presentations. But when we say, here is the short story, our prospects relax. They know this will take only a few seconds. This statement turns our negative prospects into listeners. And that is fair. We want our prospects to hear our message and then decide if our message serves them or not. Here are a few more short stories. Hold on, hold on for a second, please. Don't mute your microphone. I need your help. And I would like to share with everybody one very, very good, super short story from person who are not familiar with Forever Living products. Stay with me, please. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Please forgive me. Okay, what can you, what, what do you see on the screen? Uh, I see the text. Did you With see a little boy? No, I see the pink last sentence. Oh, okay, now you can see. Yes, I do. Uh-huh. Okay. I hope some of you already saw this super uh -huh. powerful young fella, right? Let's uh -huh. listen to him. Watch it and listen to him, please. How do you like that? Anybody, please. He's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. Let's watch it again. And he is pure. For, and like pure. Absolutely, 100%. How old is he? What do you think? Uh, maybe uh, around like five years old. No more than five years old. Mm -mm. And guess how I got this video. Who shared with me? Any guess? Mm-mm. Come on, people, speak up. Just say something. 
My lovely wife sent it to me. Ah, wonderful. <laughs> I was shocked. It was a couple of days ago when I put it on the Facebook for everybody. If he could do it, you can do it. Look at this. Look at let's watch, let's watch him again. It's unbelievable. He believed in himself, and you can too. You can do anything that. It's a conversation, this boy, with his mom. Get a better job. Make more money. That's his mistaken about me. I cannot be president. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Helen, you cannot yeah. be president too. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> So it's not about other people. It's up to Helen. Mm -hmm. It's up to Iris. It's yeah. up to Eugene. It's up to Isaac. It's up to Lilichka. It's up to Ludmila. It's up to Nina. It's up to Zoya. It's up to Nadezhda. And many, many, many more. Thank you, my young fellow. Unbelievable boy. Just unbelievable. Let's continue our journey. Let me share screen. Okay. Can you see it now, the book, Helen? Oh, something. Don't tell yes. me something. Yes, I, yes. I need to know exactly what do you see. Yes, uh, I see the, the pink line. The okay. Here is a few more short stories. That's when yes. we stop it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. When I interrupt you. I'm sorry, but I believe it was priceless. Sure, it's sure. Unbelievable. Please go ahead and then we will take a break. Okay, here are a few more short stories. Here is the short story. We love to travel and take holidays. Our travel business gives us the ability to travel at wholesale prices. Our new family vacations will be memorable. Plus, everyone likes to save money. Here is the short story. With our deluxe water filter, you don't have to carry bottled water home from the store. And with our finance plan, you actually save money because you don't have to buy bottled water again. Here is the short story. You and I are not getting any younger. Our retirement is getting closer. Our bank accounts cannot catch up fast enough. We need more money for our retirement. This is how we can do it. Here is the short story. Our children are only young ones. We want to spend that precious time with them. We can't do that if we are at a job. With our business, we can work out of our homes and be with our children. Here is the short story. It is difficult to get rich while working a job. We need a business. You can start this business part-time without risking your job. How does that sound? Here is the short story. We want to help the environment, but we don't have time. Here is one way we can help. Simply change our toxic in-home cleaning products to these natural cleaning products. Here is some more good news. Our short stories help our new team members immediately. In just a few minutes, they can share a short story to interest the initial prospects. Helen, thank you for your reading. Mm -hmm. Take a break, please. And I would like to ask, continue to read the most reliable manager from New Jersey, Iris Cristobal. Iris, please go ahead. Okay, can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay, preconditioning our prospects. We want our prospects to be aware of our products and opportunity before we present our solutions. Then we won't feel awkward when we bring our business into the conversation. But how do we precondition our prospects? 
using social media, posting pictures of our wonderful products from different angles. Yes, we know that is wrong approach. Social media is for connecting humans love to talk and share their opinions. Let's give them a chance to share their opinion. Imagine we share this on social media. The four questions skin care test. Number one, at what age does wrinkling most often begin? What is the first area of the body to show wrinkles? Three, can wrinkles be reversed? Four, is warm or cold water best for cleaning one's face. Now we gave our social connections a chance to share their opinions and participate in the conversation. Most will want to know the correct answers. Many will like to share their opinions. But what are they all thinking about? Skin care. This is preconditioning our prospects before our conversation. Preconditioning in face-to-face -face conversations. In a previous chapter, we preconditioned our prospects by planting, our planting seeds. Our planting seed statements and questions prompted many of our prospects to start an immediate conversation. As a general rule, questions are better than statements. When we ask questions, our prospects can immediately participate in the conversation. People like to talk. We should give them that chance. But there's another way to precondition our prospects. We can tell them our personal story or the story of one of our satisfied customers or team, team members. Short stories will stick in our prospects' minds because stories are easy to remember. Our next conversation with this prospect will be easier. Here is an example of preconditioning story. I was a terrible sleeper. Some nights I would toss and turn and feel like a wreck the next day. Now I fall asleep within three minutes of my head touching my pillow. Mornings feel a lot better. Whether our prospect instantly reacts or not, our prospect will remember this preconditioning story. And after a few restless nights, our prospects will remember us. Now, when this prospect comes to us, this prospect is not only preconditioned, but likely pre-sold. With only 15 minutes a day, we can't be inefficient with random conversation. Our prospecting time must include purpose, purposeful conversation and proven words. A 15 minute strategy for following up with prospects. Do we have a fear of the telephone? Do any of these thoughts sound familiar? I don't know what to say. What if they ask a question I don't know the answer to? What if they are mean? What if I'm calling during their dinner? How do I start the conversation? My first follow-up call goes bad. Will I get discouraged? Are they truly interested? And this fear gets worse. When do we make calls to follow up with our prospects? What happens? No one answers. No one returns our calls. Why does this happen? If our phone rings, we might not answer because we are busy. We could be driving, working, eating, or not in the talking mood. Some people don't even recognize their own ringtone. And these days, most people will rather get a text. Yes, the days of answering every phone calls are history. One fast solution. If our fear paralyzes us, let's look at an easier solution. Instead of making a telephone call, we will send a text or message. A text or message only takes a short time. Plus, there is no rejection. Follow up does not have to take up large chunks of time in our lives. The secret to a great follow-up message is what we say in our message. Here is an example of a great follow-up message. I know you're not interested, but if you know someone who hates commuting to work, could you please recommend them to me? Uh, recommend me to them? 
this short message has three parts. Part one, the takeaway. When we say, I know you are not interested, this takes the pressure off our prospect. No more salesman alarm. No more skepticism and negativity. Our prospect feels relieved that we won't try to sell or push our solution. When we take something away, many times people will want it more. This opening phrase sometimes motivates our prospect to think. Hey, wait, I did not say I'm not, I was not interested. And you know what? Maybe I am interested. This opportunity you told me about might be perfect for me. Everyone has this takeaway program in their minds. When our mother told us, you can't go in that room, which room did we desperately want to go into? Yes, we want that we can't have. It is part of human nature. There is no chance of rejection when we start off with, I know you are not interested. Part two, the benefit. Prospects don't care what our product or service does. They only care about the benefits of our product or service can give them. The second part of our message should remind them of the great benefits of our opportunity, product, or service. Here are some examples of the benefits of different products and services. Electricity, lower price. Diet products, losing weight without cooking special food ourselves. Skin care, to look younger, more radiant, to keep wrinkles away longer. Energy drink, feeling upbeat and positive all day long. Travel, the five-star holidays for the price of an inexpensive hotel room. Here are some examples of the benefits of our opportunity. Monthly income. This could mean paying for holiday gifts with cash instead of credit card, or paying off debt faster, or possibly having enough money to fire the boss. Our own business. The benefits could include no more commuting, more time with the family, or setting our, our own hours. Win free trips, much better than paying for our own holidays. Part Let's call down for a second. Thank you for your reading. Take a break, break, please. And I would like to remind everybody that last time on the webinar, we agreed that everybody who would like to will share testimony from your personal product use or from your downline friends or family. So who is a volunteer first time today? Any volunteer? to share some testimonials we agreed the last time on during the webinar. Helen, Ludmila Semenchik, Helen, please go ahead. Uh, it's a new testimony from my father. Uh, he's almost 85 and he had some kind of, it's not like, a, it's like a, not a word, but some, you know, elderly people have some dark play, uh, sp like, you know, uh, spots on their skin and because I take care of him constantly and I and I see he has some uh, dark places uh, on his uh, skin and I started using aloe vera jelly from the tube and uh, propolis cream and one um, one like dark spot was like more protruding like like some like two three millimeters like in height and just ye yesterday I found out that it was like that dark spot, um, like almost got removed from the skin, like it's gonna be um, uh, disappeared soon because I, I, I put the cream and aloe vera uh, jelly uh, constantly. And uh, because uh, our creams and jelly, uh, like propolis cream and uh, aloe vera jelly work very well on even on papillomas some kind of like you know skin protrusions somehow they um uh they remove some stuff and uh, it just dries out and leaves the skin that's what happens uh with my father and uh i think many people could use that too <laughs> thank you absolutely thank you please don't mute your microphone because i might need your help mm -hmm. uh, ludmila please go ahead 
It's very interesting accident. It's about uh, aloe vera jelly too. Uh, in this season, sometimes we have a pain in uh, our ears. Uh, the, uh, the weather has changed and uh, if, uh, very uncomfortable sometimes. You uh, take Q-tips and put aloe vera jelly from the tube and put inside of our, uh, our ear channel and stay for about 10 minutes probably and uh, pain disappeared without any compress, without anything and help a lot. And I recommend everybody, if they have this problem, uh, use it. Very easy, uh, very quick result, and very good. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Ale. Yes, go ahead. Yes, I usually don't get um, sniffles or like runny nose. Um, so there's this one time that I, I got, I don't know if it was allergic reaction or just, I came from outside, but I, my nose was just running like nonstop. I cannot, I, I take it out. So what I did was I just took like uh, two tablets of bee pollen and then immediately within an hour, my nose stopped dripping. It just stopped. So I was, I, I feel better right away. So every time my, my, my kids have sniffles, I said, two what, be, be pollen, two be pollen, that's it. And it helps them. So it stops the runny nose. First of all, thank you, Iris. But uh, I just would like to share something. Uh, what I learned from my sponsor, from Boris, uh, very, very long time ago, very long time ago, I believe it was like 2004, that for a new people, for new people who never use our beehive products, like a bee pollen special, there is a warning in our manual regarding bee pollen. For new person, always advise to cut one tablet in four pieces at least, and first for a first time user, use it quarter a tablet a day, and especially if somebody mentioned that they have an allergy. Then increase, gradually increase next day, one more quarter, et cetera, et cetera. It's prevent new people to have severe allergy for bee pollen. Okay, anybody yeah, else? Thank you, Alex. I only did it with my kids, so. No, that's, that's, that's a fine. different story. It's not for you. I know that you know this, but I just to, would like to remind everybody, it's really crucial to know how to use bee pollen because it might have real effect in a not positive way, if somebody use bee pollen like a tablet right away. Okay, anybody else has a story? Now I would like, I believe no, no volunteers any longer. Uh, Helen, please tell me what do you see, in a, uh, what do you see on the screen right now? I see the, uh, now I see uh, like YouTube. YouTube channel, correct? Uh-huh, YouTube channel. Okay, mm -hmm. this is my YouTube channel. Everybody knows this YouTube, YouTube channel. You should be familiar. I'm not promoting my YouTube channel. I am promoting 89, no, 69 videos on this channel. A lot of them, in a majority of them in English language, a lot of them in Russian language. It's a priceless information for everybody. And you could see how many times people watch. For example, last webinar, six days ago, I posted 21 views. Number one webinar, two weeks ago, 39 views. So it's a lot of super helpful information, super helpful information for new people. And I'm asking you, when you watch the video, would you please be very kind to make a comments, not comments to me. I'm not asking for comments. I'm asking about video and information and share with other people, encourage them to sign up. It's a free registration and they will have, as soon as I post a new video, they will have, a, they will receive a reminder, not even a notification that new video posted. It's a lot of valuable information, priceless information. Books, what we did the webinar this year and previous webinar, there is a history here. A lot mm -hmm. of priceless information for everybody. So please share, 
share and share. But do yourself a favor, just do not say, share the link with webinar, explain to them what kind of, what video. If it's a new person, it's a one requirement. If the person knew, know about forever, but would like to know more information, there are stories, Nina's stories, uh, Helen's story, other people's story, a lot of valuable information. That's what I would like to ask you. Agree? Oh, sure. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great week. Be safe and healthy. And we will talk next Monday. We continue to read this wonderful book, useful book, absolutely useful book. Sure. As every book from Big Al Tamshwriter and his son. Thank you to all readers, Isaac, Helen, and Iris. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. <laughs> Thank bye -bye. you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.